Shikona are a fundamental component in the functioning of our communities and our society. And thankfully, since the inception of the state, the vast majority of our population have confidence in Angardi Shikona and the Gardaí in turn have protected our state and our people. In the context of discussing Garda reform, we must always remember the historical role of Angardi and we must never forget or ignore the immense work that has been done by members of the force on a daily basis, serving our people across this country and at the same time helping to develop community and a sense of togetherness. It is important that every group or every organisation looks at its own structure and examines how best it serves the people, the citizen. And it must also ensure that it operates in an effective and successful manner. Over time, over time things change, and so must all organisations, and in Garda Shikona is no different. The issues of the past number of months have highlighted through the Cook Report, the Gearn Report, allegations of whistleblowers, operation of penalty points, have made it clear that we must look at the structure in the organisation of Angardi Shikona. If public confidence and support of the Gardaí is to be maintained, then I think all of us agree change is necessary. Everybody acknowledges the need for reform. The Gardaí, the government, members of the House and the public all want change. Change so that the Gardaí can be protected, but also that the Gardaí can do their job in a way that is transparent and that meets the needs of society in a modern Ireland. This bill, I believe, is an opportunity to begin a discussion on change that is required and it is an opportunity to consider what government has proposed. I thank Deputy Ross for bringing the bill to the House, but I do believe uh, that this bill only deals with one aspect of reform that may be required and it does so without considering the holistic need for change that will be implemented over the coming months. The entire policing structure of our state must work together seamlessly. There cannot be a disjointed approach. Therefore, it is imperative that all reforms are considered in an overall context. Putting reforms through one by one in a piecemeal manner is not an option, I believe, and I do believe it is important that we ensure that change is implemented uh, comprehensive as part of an overall package driven by the Minister. I think, Minister, the establishment of the Independent Guard Authority, the Guard Commission to be appointed by open competition, the need to take whistleblowers uh, seriously, and to be able to report their concerns to GSOC, and indeed the whole role of GSOC. And I think we must look at how we, how we recruit Gardaí, how Gardaí are promoted, and how Gardaí uh, can, can see that chain of command uh, being, being done so in an open and transparent manner. Thank I do much. believe, in conclusion, Cahillac, that this bill is, is, is a timely one. I think it's necessary that we discuss it, but I think that we must do so in a manner that's, that is holistic in our approach rather than piecemeal. Thank you very much, Deputy. And next to speak for three